This video was made to review and criticize the material in it, and is not intended to be a substitute for the original work. I do not own the material or any part of the show in this video. Please support HBO by watching the full episode and show on HBO or any other platform that legally streams it. Links to the official sites are available in the description box below. This video is intended to fall under the general guidelines of fair use and is edited as to not compete with the original work. As an aspiring writer and artist, my goal is to comment, review, criticize and learn from the work. Thank you for understanding. Welcome to Watcher, today we're watching episode 59. But before we begin, please don't leave any spoilers in the comment section. I'd really appreciate that. And most importantly, thank you so much for the support and for joining me on this adventure. If you're new here and enjoyed this, then please subscribe and leave a like. That would be very helpful. Now, what should I say? Well, that I think that something will go very wrong for someone. Don't know who. But anyway, now that Daenerys is back in Marine, she'll probably be able to save the city. She has the dragons and a Dothraki army. And I still believe that the Greyjoy siblings might make a timely appearance, helping out with defeating all those ships. That's probably how they will prove themselves. But where did Varus go? Can we possibly figure that out? He said that they needed allies in Westeros. That means that he probably should be looking among the enemies of the Lannisters, enemies who also hold some power. That rules out the Star Kids, and the Baratheons are over, pretty much. So who's left? The obvious answer would be Dorne maybe? But they are just so unpredictable. Are they even a part of this world after what just happened? I don't think that Varys would ever talk to Baelish or the Boltons, but a big maybe is Lady Olenna. She despises Cersei. It all depends on how much Varys knows about her hatreds towards the Lannisters. As I said, mainly Cersei. And speaking of Cersei, she's up to something. Her Master of Whispers just confirmed something. I feel stupid for not knowing what they were talking about. But man, I must say that I'm loving this second half of the season. So much build up and so many exciting possibilities. Now let's watch the episode. So it is the attack, the attack on Oo, that was brutal. The visuals are kinda cool. Perhaps we should take shelter. How will you answer for this? I will crucify the masters, I will set their fleets to fire, kill every last one of their soldiers and return their cities to the dirt. Mm. Wow, what a brilliant plan. Is that who you are going to follow, you Tyrion? Guys, I'm over this. Let's move on. If she hasn't gotten it by now, she'll never get it. If you had not been so arrogant, you could have returned to your homeland with a fleet of ships. Another meeting with the East guys. What's this all about? We are here to discuss terms of surrender, not to trade insults. Get the hell out of here. That's what they want, pretty much. We are to discuss your surrender, not mine. Your reign is over. I saw a dragon flying there. Is he coming for them? Yeah, what now? What can you guys do against a dragon? Where is your Dothraki army? Are they delayed? They probably flew here before them, right? Now, let's burn those ships. Oh, hey. Here they are. The horse lords. The only thing left is for the Greyjoys to arrive and deal with the remaining ships. Jump into the water if you want to live. I told you guys, jump into the water. Well, I don't really care, so if they want to die, they can die. Checkmate. You violated that pact. Yep, they did. One of you must die as punishment for your crimes. <laughs> What's that? That's a stupid game. One of you must die. Like who? Him. He should die. Yes. Him. Please. What do you mean, please? A moment ago, you were so and he killed those other guys, and he will spare this guy. Well, that's a ni nice twist to that. Work for us, maybe. What happened here? What's left of his army, of their army? That was a major defeat. Hmm. The Boltons. What's this all about? Who's on the other side? John and Sansa? Oh, there she is. What will they talk about? The war? Is this necessary? Can you trust them? Thank you for returning, Lady Bolton's son. This mountain kneel before me. He is in his own little world. You don't have the men. You don't have the horses. 
and you don't have Winterfell. Yeah, John, what is the plan? Why would you meet with them? What do you have up your sleeve? Get off your horse. Move. But don't do that. You're right. There's no need for a battle. Thousands of men don't need to die. Only one of us. Oh. You against me. Oh. Wow. I did not see that coming. Yes. I'd love that. John is a good fighter, but so is Ramsay. Mm, I don't know about this. Knowing this show, I don't know if we should do this. But you've already died once. Would you die again, John? Have six thousand men. You have what? Half that. Yeah. Why would he accept that? Will your men want to fight for you when they hear you wouldn't fight for them? Oh yeah, that was a great answer. Owning him with words, with intellect. Will you let your little brother die because you're too proud? How do we know you have him? I don't need to see that. You're going to die tomorrow, Lord Bolton. Well, can you back that up? Brave words, but I think John will have to deal with that, putting a lot of pressure on him. But maybe she has a plan, I don't know. Everyone is outsmarting me in the show. Man, this is getting exciting. So far, it's been a really good episode. I'm enjoying this. If he was smart, he'd stay inside the walls of Winterfell and wait himself. If the other houses sense weakness on his part, They'll stop fearing him. Fear is his power. It's his weakness. That's true. Fear is his power. It's all he knows. I know what mountain knights can do to us. We do remember that. They won't be able to hit us the way that Stannis hit you. A pincer move. They won't be able to hit us from the side. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what are you guys talking about? I don't understand those terms. We need you sharp tomorrow. Indeed we do. Everyone needs to be sharp tomorrow. Because we are quite outnumbered. Did it ever once occur to you that I might have some insight? Why didn't you speak up then? You could go to war into a trap, you won't. I fought beyond the wall against worse than Ramsay Bolt. I don't know. Worse than Ramsay? Well, I do understand that the walkers are bad, but this guy is just mental. What should I do differently? I don't know. I don't know anything about battle. So what are you suggesting? I don't understand. What is she saying? This is a bit frustrating. We're lucky to have this many men. It's not enough. No, it's not enough. It's what we have. Sansa, are you hiding something? Then spit it out. If Ramsay wins, I'm not going back there alive. That's fair. I'll protect you, I promise. I don't know. I hope that's true. No one can protect anyone. I understand why she feels that way. It wasn't the Boltons defeated Stannis. Stannis himself. I agree with that. By the end of his time, he was a lost man. So these demons? No, it's a manner of speaking. Well, you could say that you saw them as well. They were actual demons. Or something. I don't know what we should call them. My lady. Are you here to ask her for help? To lend you a demon or two? Any advice? Don't lose. Everyone is so helpful, suddenly. Don't bring me back. I do what he commands. How do you know what he commands? <laughs> what if she actually does it again? Maybe you're only needed for this small part of his plan and nothing else. The episode of Simple Answers. And I do enjoy that. The last one gave us no answers. This one is giving us, us harsh realities. I bet he'll notice something. Wait, will he see what happened here last time? He will flip the hell out. Isn't that what he gave her? Yeah. Man, he is going to kill Lady Melisandre. If he figures it out. Well, that's a beautiful shot. Last time we saw each other was at Winterfell, yes? Oh! Here he is. So they didn't come to save them. Or at least help. They just arrived. You brought us a hundred ships from the Iron Fleet. In return, I expect you want me to support your claim to the throne of the Iron Islands? Yeah, pretty much. Lord Durian tells me your father was a terrible king. You and I have that in common. Our ancestors defeated ours and took the Iron Islands. We ask you to give them back. So, do we have a deal? We're evil men. All of us here. That's actually true. We're going to leave the world better than we found it. I hope that doesn't happen. Just for them to realize how harsh it is to rule. How will this go? Let's go, giant. Now where's Sansa? Shouldn't she see this? And what are they doing? Are they burning someone? Who the hell was that? All of these guys need to die. Burn the flags, everything. Who is that, Rickon? Come on, don't tease us like that. Well, who else would it be? Yep. And there is your evidence. So what now? What is going on? Let's play a game. 
What type of sick game do you want to play now? Run to your brother. But we'll shoot arrows, arrows at you while you are running. Mm, nope. Come. And this is the end of Rickon. No, you have to run, remember? Yep. For a moment I thought he had his dogs here. Run in a zigzag pattern. Not in a straight line, idiot. Oof. That looked close. I think he's toying. He could get him anytime he wants to get him. See? This one will hit. No? Really? How about now? Yep. Man! That's the game. That's the game he loves to play. He wants to give you hope. Just to take it away. Can't Lady Melisandre revive him? Maybe? Mm, now we have a war. Don't go alone. That just sucks. That Rickon also died. Will any of the Starks survive? Like we have Arya and Sansa. Hopefully Bran will survive. We have Jon. Although he isn't a real one. Jon, what the hell are you doing? You're getting baited. Man, this is not going well. What now? Well, that is an epic shot. Will he die again? Oh my god, that gave me massive goosebumps. And he does not care. Avoid the arrows. It's all up to luck, I think, whether you get hit or not. Well, this is a nice battle. You must be the luckiest person alive. If you don't get hit by one of those arrows. And knowing how cursed I am, I'd probably get hit by the first arrow right in the head. John and Sansa, you owe these guys a lot. Not many men left. He still looks confident. All we can hope for is that someone betrays Ramsay. Because they are really outnumbered. P please, a Braveheart moment. Surrounding them, trapping them, and then what? Okay, this... Yep, you are completely surrounded. And who's on the other side? We have been completely outsmarted here. Well, that looks hopeless. Quite sturdy. Please don't die, Torment. This is a nasty battle. Ouch! No! Man, I don't see a way out. I really don't. Come on, Torment. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. I can't have you die here. Well, he's drowning. What the frick? So much panic. I hear something. But I don't know what I'm hearing. Oof. Baelish! Yeah, so she did write Baelish. I was like, that's his, that's the veil. I thought she was over, thought she was over Baelish. That she had moved on completely. Oh, he looks like the devil. I think that's what you need to defeat Ramsay. Become the devil, become a monster. Hmm, only one thing left. Are you retreating? Sansa winning the war for them by doing what she didn't want to. Their army's gone. Our army's gone. We have Winterfell. What about the giant? Ouch! Ah! Such a gory episode. Is that the last thing he did? Oh, the rest of them caught up. That's good. Thanks, giant. Is this goodbye? Ramsay. Obviously. Who else? You suggested one -on -one combat, didn't you? The problem is, John is pretty tired. Well, he is quite enjoying that. John, he might fall for you. Just saying. We know how, what he's into. How about it, Sansa? Look at him. Ecstasy. He is high. Yes, we have Winterfell. It's back. What about that 
Davos, are you going to confront her? Do you know what she did? Have you figured it out? I think you have. That's sad. Where is she? What if Sansa becomes the torturer? It would be quite uncharacteristic. But also interesting. Nah, she would probably just confront him verbally. Our time together is about to come. What a deluded character. I mean deluded person. Your words will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. Let's hope so. Oh. Dogs barking. That would be quite a fitting end to him. My hearts will never harm me. Shall we find out? What if he starts with his face? I don't want to see this. Ah! Can't say that I feel too sorry for him. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. So that's the end of Ramsey. Wow, full circle. All right. An amazing episode. I had a wonderful time watching this episode. It was a fantastic roller coaster. Exciting and entertaining. It gave us some great conclusions, but it also teased us for the future. So we had two major battles in this episode. The one at Marine, I did expect, but I never thought we'd have the Battle of Winterfell so soon. I must say that I was pleasantly surprised, and when it comes to the Battle of Marine, I would have preferred if the Greyjoys came in and had a little part in it. But other than that, it was alright. I'm satisfied. We had to end it somehow, but the main focus was obviously the Battle of Winterfell. So many twists and turns to it, and it went as it probably should have gone. Our side should not have won unless someone huge came to our aid, and that is exactly what happened. I'm both surprised and not surprised that it was Baelish who actually came to our rescue. I guess it just shows that Sansa is ready to do what needs to be done, even if she hates it. That's what I call character development. She's come a long way, and in the end, she won, without having to sacrifice herself but i guess a lot of other people were sacrificed but maybe we can have a bit of stability in the north now if we get that i suppose it was worth it another goat was john and his guys of course they gave everything they had reminded me a bit of braveheart it makes me love them even more now but what i'm most curious to see is if davos would confront lady melisandre it looks like he's figured out what happened to shireen i'm really looking forward to that i want to see what happens how things escalate, or if they even do. Other than that, it's sad that we lost Rickon. It was so close, but I think we all knew the outcome of Ramsey's little game. Thank god Ramsey's gone though. Although, I'll miss him a bit. Especially the great acting performance. Such a convincing character. Great villains often carry a show, so I wonder who'll take over that role. Will it officially be the walkers? But I don't know if they can do it as well as a human being, like Joffrey and Ramsey. We'll have to find out. So, what was my favorite scene? I don't know. The battle was cool overall but i guess i'm gonna pick the first encounter between john and ramsey i really like that or no maybe rickon's death yeah probably that one but anyway i'm gonna have to give this one a 9 or 10 out of 10 i'm usually not that big of a fan of battles but this one was epic all i need to say is that it was an amazing episode a surprising one because I didn't see this coming, so soon at least. What next? I suppose we have to unite the North and start preparing for the White Walker invasion. And we still have Cersei's trial left. Can't wait for that. That's the next thing I'm very excited for. But anyway guys, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. That would be awesome. Now take care and see you next time.